The LabVIEW Unit Test Framework Toolkit provides tools we use to check VIs for functional correctness. When we create a test from the Project Explorer window, LabVIEW creates a labvlv.lv test file on the disk. Each .lv test file contains the settings LabVIEW uses to check the VI under test for functional correctness. When we execute a test, LabVIEW runs the VI under test by using the input values we specified for each test case in the .lv test file. LabVIEW then compares the resulting values with the specified values by using the comparison types we specified. Please note that the Unit Test Framework Toolkit cannot check polymorphic VIs for functional correctness. Using the Unit Test Framework Toolkit involves the following steps. Creating projects and tests. We must create and save a LabVIEW project before we can create tests. We can use projects to group together all the files we need to perform unit testing. We can use the Project Explorer window to create tests. Configuring tests. We can use the Project Explorer window to configure tests interactively. We can also configure tests by editing .lv test files. Each .lv test file contains the settings we specify for a test. Managing tests. We can use virtual folders auto populating folders and LabVIEW project libraries to organize a project. We can drag drop files inside the project explorer window to manage a project. We can use the project explorer window to find tests and VIs. Executing tests. We can use the Project Explorer window to execute tests interactively. We can also execute tests programmatically by using the Unit Test Framework VIs, viewing, result, viewing test results and generating reports. We can use the Unit Test Framework Results window to view test results. The Project Explorer window also displays results from the test execution. We can generate test reports in different formats.
test reports contain results from the execution. We can customize test reports by specifying the contents of the reports. We can also format HTML reports by using a cascading style sheet CSS file. In addition, we can generate log files using text, text execution.